rites of passage i want to tell you what it means rites of passage is a ritual or ceremony signifying a new event in a person's life indicating a new and different status the concept is emergent from the academic field of anthropology now in our culture we don't have a lot of rites of passage for young people however in other cultures such as Judas, Ju Judaism, Judaism, am I saying it right? Judaism, Jews, they have a rite of passage called Bat Mitzvah or Bar Mitzvah, which is where their teenagers, when they hit about 13, they have a, a celebration or a ceremony that signifies that that person is moving from adolescence into adulthood. And uh, I think rites of passage are important, and that is why. I'm a fan of period parties. Now, a period party is a, rites of, is a rite of passage. And it simply is an opportunity to sort of introduce or to welcome a young girl into womanhood through an event, a celebration that gives us the opportunity to pre prepare her, to teach her what we have learned through the journey that we have already taken and it's a space where older women, the women of the community, the aunties and the grandmas and the big sisters come together and celebrate the young girl. In certain tribes in Africa, this is practiced. It's not called a period party. I probably should find out what it's called, but you can research it yourself. And in this rite of passage, it is a real moment when this young girl gets to see her way as she embarks on a journey that's going to be a lifelong journey that's going to bond her to her sisters that's going to get her to understand what it means to live in a body that does what it does so i want to talk to you a little bit about period party because i find myself having conversations with people over and over again about this idea of period party and i just can't grasp the concept because i mean period and party are usually not in the same sentence together so hi this is big people business i am shelly and weeks author activist sexual and reproductive health educator and jamaican and let's talk about period parties or rites of passage now as we talk about this idea of period party i want us to get into the frame of mind that periods are something to be celebrated the first fact where when it comes to period is simply this Periods are important for the continuation of the human race. Without periods, we will not be able to survive. End of discussion. Now, I find it very strange how in our culture, we ha have so much disdain and disregard and we express so much disgust when it comes to period. And the truth is, we would not be alive if not for periods. So. That's the first thing I want us to get out of the way, is this negative connotation that we have, that we have associated with periods in our minds. And that is why it is so hard for us to see a space where we can actually celebrate having a period, where we can actually celebrate someone who is embarking upon a journey where they're gonna have monthly periods and what that means. So that's the first thing I'd like us to address. In my book, It's My Body Period, I wrote a chapter about period parties. It says, host a period party. And in this chapter, I give you exactly what you need in terms of tools, how you can have your own period party, what exactly is a period party, why you need to have a period party, what do you need in terms of food, decor, games, what you can do when you're there. What's the point? I'm gonna tell you what's the point. And I'm gonna read verbatim. Normalizing periods at the beginning is one of the most important things that we can do to empower young girls and validate their agency over their bodies. Understanding the changes that their bodies will make as they grow up will help them be more confident women. It's important that we take the time to give them the tools so that when they get to the space 
where their bodies are changing, it won't feel so daunting. I don't know that our culture has anything similar for boys, but it's also necessary. But right now, we're talking about period parties. So, the first thing that you need to understand about a period party is that it's a, it's a celebration. It is not a space for you to complain about painful periods and the inconvenience of periods and the fact that periods are annoying and you really prefer not to have them and oh, that's how we feel sometimes. But that's not what we're doing in this space. In the space of a period party, what we're doing is we're arming this girl who her body is acting strange. Go back to when you had your first period. Go back to when you, your body starts to feel a little different. When it starts to feel in a space where you probably can't even describe it. You don't have the words to say how it's feeling. For me, when I was going through puberty, the first stages of puberty for me was a mixture of weird and... The best word I can probably use is antsy. I felt antsy. I understand now that it was my body trying to translate hormones and in the translation of that hormone one foreign foreign feeling for me was arousal and I could not I did not know how to describe arousal now that I understand what arousal feels like I know that that's what I was feeling at the time but I was feeling aroused. I would find myself in, I've, I've been a bookworm all my life and I used to read some books that I, wasn't, I didn't have any business reading. Come on, we grew up in the 90s. All of y'all Mills and Boone readers, hello. When they're reading about the stabbing member and such and such and your body start to tingle, you know what I'm talking about. So I remember reading, I was reading this historic novel by Jonah Lindsay and uh, oh my gosh, it was this heated love scene and I just remembered feeling I was flushed and I just felt hot and bothered. That's the only word I can use to describe how I was feeling at the time. I, 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 was, I felt jittery. <laughs> and like I said, I did not have the language. I did not know what was happening to me at the time. I mean, no, I can make sense of it now. But at the time, I just felt uneasy. And this is the part of the conversation that a lot of parents find very uncomfortable because they don't want to imagine their little girls feeling arousal. But the fact is, the hormones that are coursing through her veins, they stimulate arousal too. So you not wanting it is not going to stop her from having the experience. What you need to do as her parent is to create an environment where she can come to you for clarity and not go to John P. Pervert for clarity because John P. Pervert is going to use it as an opportunity to pervert. Okay? So I'm just saying in the conversation around periods, we have to create a space where they can try they can figure it out. Figure out what they're feeling, where they can try to put into words the feelings. And a period party takes the pressure off that conversation. It takes the seriousness of the conversation. It makes it feel more empathetic. Because as their mom, you get to say, well, when I was your age, this happened to me too. Oh, I understand how you feel because I also had an experience. Here's a story. And auntie such and such can say, of course, I remember that man when I was eight or when I was 10, I felt like that too. Or grandma can say, ha ha, you know, you're right. I felt the same way, but my experience was like, and tell the story. It is important that we have this rite of passage, this ceremony. I just, I'm, I'm sitting here trying to imagine how I would have appreciated something like that when I was going through period for the first time. A lot of us had to figure it out on our own. Even on that first day when we get our first period, them just give you one pad and send me go off to figure it out in the bathroom. Now we stand there in the bathroom we're trying to figure out what to do, which is a part of the experience that you have at a period party. You get to get introduced to the products properly. You get an opportunity to see what the products look like. You get to touch it. You get to see how do I use it? Um, what does this mean? What does this term mean when I'm buying it? What do I look for? How do I know what to choose? How do I know what product to choose based on my flow? How can I judge my flow? How long am I supposed to wear a product together um, at, the same, at, at a time? 
how do I know what product are that I would like? Can I try them? Can I touch them? How do I put it onto my underwear? All of these things, you get a chance to just share knowledge. Give it to them, give it to them. If you think about a lot of things in life that we do, we had to learn how to do it first. You had to learn how to drive before you went behind the wheel of a car. Somebody taught you how to turn on a stove before you went around there and start handling fire and knife and these dangerous things. You have to learn how to operate certain machinery before you even get introduced to them. So when it comes to periods, why do we have such a hard time understanding that having a real introduction to the things that comes along with menstruation is impossible or is even required? Of course it's required. As long as we continue to see periods as a negative thing, we will never understand why a period party makes sense. Now, I would like to see in our culture, I would like to see us make space and time to give our young people the tools that they need so that they can make better decisions, so that they can be better prepared to handle the challenges when they come, when they face them so that they can step up and they can have more confidence and they can be better than we were because we didn't know either a lot of us had to figure it out on our own they shouldn't have to figure it on our own because we have the information why don't we share the information with them why don't we give them the opportunity to be prepared better than we were at the time that's the purpose of a period party. I hope you have one. I hope, I would like to see schools have period parties. And FYI, it's not a woman thing. It's not just for women. Boys need to participate. Men need to participate in period parties. If men can go to baby showers, men can go to period parties. And the reason why men need to understand period parties is because they have the same questions about products. They need to also understand how they can support. They need to know that whenever um, she describes a feeling, this is what she means because that's another part of it not having the body parts makes it difficult for men to relate when we say certain things in terms of describing our feelings and so it is very 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 integral that they get access to this language to the space so they can understand when we express ourselves certainly when we say the belly bottom i drop out they know what that mean I have so many gynecologists, male gynecologist friends, who when I say to them, if your patient say to you, then belly button will drop out, do you actually know what that means? I'm saying, well, you know, no, not literally, but they figure that is some sort of pain. And I'm saying, not necessarily. It's actually a feeling. It feels like you're weighed down. It feels like there's a weight pulling on your abdomen. And it's not necessarily painful. It's uncomfortable but it's not just straight pain and you won't know that if somebody don't translate it for you so that is what the purpose of this exercise is it's to create a space where we can get these thoughts of clarity and just celebrate her listen from puberty to menopause our bodies are doing all sorts of things it's always preparing for this child and whether we don't have the child or not there are consequences. We don't have the child, we have our period. Sometimes we have the children and that changes our bodies too. Having a body that does these type of miraculous things can be quite challenging. And having a space where you can get to understand how to deal with this body, having a space where you can get to see from the experience of your elders how they, they dealt with them and learn from some of the lessons that they learned is absolutely vital and uh, little girls can definitely benefit from all of this knowledge so give pe period parties a chance have a period party grab a copy of it's my body period the period party is in there as well and if you can if you know about one take your child to a period party or you go and see what you can learn because let me tell you something i have had about four periods pa period parties so far and every time I go to one, I learn something different. And I'm the period lady. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to leave it there. I want to say thank you for joining me on this episode of Big People Business. Until next time, I am Shelly Ann Weeks, author, activist, sexual and reproductive health educator, 
and Jamaican. I just want to remind you to be kind, especially to yourself. Later.